would give you the money if I could. Mama, I'm sorry. I can hear the disappointment in your voice. I love you. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Danny, is something wrong? Will you excuse me a minute? Oh, sure. Money. So do we all, Miss Frick. Unfortunately, the hotel is weeks behind in its payroll. But Sally's mom requires medical care that costs eleven $1 hundred seventy dollars. She told you this? In a word, no. I overheard her talking on the telephone. Miss Frick. Yeah. Maybe she wanted the matter kept confidential. But Reggie, the girl's obsessed. And I'm sincerely willing to help her, but oh. my financial situation is not that rosy either. I'm six months behind on my rent, and my rent's free. Yeah. Should I try to get the money to help Sally? Oh, Dennis, by all means. <laughs> Mr. Tarkington, I'd like to borrow $1,170. I don't have it, Dennis. I failed. <laughs> How do you do, miss? How may I, sir? Good morning, Miss Beaumont. A lot of people signing up for your fitness uh, exercises? Well, not as many as I'd like. I'm sad to say. Oh. Well, you know, I, I... Sorry, Mr. Tarkin, I really overstepped myself that time. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. Yes. But would either one of you be able to break a hundred dollar bill? Well, I think I can, dear. Uh, Dennis, the key to the cash drawer, quickly. <laughs> you? Oh, dear, my apologies, ma'am. Uh, we're a little low on cash. You're kidding. This hotel can't make change for a hundred dollars. Au contraire, madam. Cash is on the way. I would be happy to break that bill for you. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank Charles, you. Uh, may, I, may I be able to uh, ask for a draw on the next week's salary? Eleven hundred and seventy dollars, say? Please don't ask why. Why? Why do you ask why when I asked you not to ask why? Yeah, why? Why shouldn't I? You told me yourself you had a gambling problem in the past. But that's not the reason I'm asking for the loan. It's to help out a friend. I'm sorry, I can't be petty with the petty cash. There is only enough of it to last us through the week. Hot coffee! Anybody want hot coffee? Oh, you bet, Freddy. I could really use an eye-opener this morning. Fred no! 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 Freddy! Oh! Freddy! You just spilled hot coffee all over the petty cash. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, no. Not to worry. Money's still good. To the last drop. <laughs> Why did the gorilla cross the lobby? Oh, I don't know, Miss Frick. This is no time for your inane jokes. 
I uh, guess you're not used to this humidity, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Every room has its own shower, fella. yourself with my plight, dear heart. Sally? I don't mean to interfere in your personal affairs, but uh, I am aware that you have been in a financial bind regarding uh, this medical emergency with your mother. So, in here you will find $1,170 for your disposal. Oh, it's a miracle. It's like manna from heaven. Well, I appreciate the analogy, but... Uh... Mr. Tarkington, you are the sweetest, kindest, most sensitive man in the whole world. I know, Sally, but don't tell anyone. It'll ruin my reputation. You know, my mother will be thrilled. You see, the reason why she needs... No, 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 no. I don't have to know. Mr. Tarkington, we've got a serious problem. Oh? $1,170 is missing from the cash drawer. What? That's impossible. What's that you've got in your hand, Sally? Mr. Tarkington just gave me $1,170. I did? Oh, yes, I did. Uh, it's the money for her mother's operation. Remember I asked you for money the other day? That... Charles, you don't think I stole it? Well, let's see. Yesterday you asked to borrow $1,170. Today $1,170 is missing from petty cash. And just now you've given Sally $1,170. No, I don't suspect you, Mr. Tarkington. I don't believe that I can accept this, Mr. Tarkington. I did not steal the money. I appreciate you coming to my aid, but theft is unethical. For the umpteenth time, I did not steal the money. Sally, I believe him. It must just be an unbelievable coincidence. Charles, I give you my solemn word. I've never stolen anything in my life. Then I believe you, Mr. Tarkington. Thank you. Oh, before I go, I need you to sign these invoices. Here, Sally. Sally. <clears throat> oh, yes, of course. I'll get to that right now. I'll uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, the bank gives these away as gifts. They give away a lot of things. Uh, toasters, VCRs. And now, back to our movie, King Kong. <laughs> Let me see if I have your planet's currency. <laughs> Dennis, where's the key to the cash drawer? I have it, sir. Oh, may I have it, please? Do you think that's a good idea, sir, <clears throat> considering the recent cash flow controversy? <laughs> Dennis, are you, of all people, insinuating something? Hey, man, forget the change. I'll just break into the machine, okay? Well, 
I'm not accusing you of anything, Mr. Tarkington. Well, then give me the blasted key. Uh, I, well, no, give me that honey. No, don't, don't. Dennis, I, please give me that key, sir. Dennis, I don't. Dennis. <laughs> Dennis! No! Give me that. Oh, Mr. Tarkington, I know you'll know this. I need a five letter word for criminal. Thief. Thief. Oh, I was thinking kleptomania. Mr. Tarkington, we've been friends for a long time, and I consider you to be part of my family. We know you may have done something dishonest out of concern for my mother. If you would just admit to what you've done, I promise I will forget all about it. You can pay me back whenever it's convenient. For the last time, I did not steal the money. Then who did? I did it. I am the thief in question. You, Miss Frick? I was overcome by greed. I've been a bad girl. Show me no mercy. Punish me. Hurt me. Fit me. Oh, please be creative. Oh, oh. 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 Frick is just trying to protect me out of her unrequited lust. Thanks, Fixie. No, I, uh, I bet on the horses yesterday and I, I won big. That's how I got the money. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, well, I did. Uh, shiny, you know, uh, our, our shoe shine guy? He, he's an ex-bookie. He, he took the bet and he... Mm -hmm, well, he, he'll verify it for heaven. Just come with me, for heaven's sake. Shiny! Sure, right. shiny. Watch out. Put it left. Hang on now. You got it, buddy. Okay. People coming up. Here are the right. You got shiny. It. Shiny. Uh, would you please just tell my compatriots that I placed a bet with you yesterday and I won big... Go on, you can tell him. Mr. Tarkington, I talked you out of gambling yesterday. Don't you remember? You said you'd find another way to get the money you needed. <laughs> what? <Well, he, laughs> what you're telling us is that Mr. Tarkington did not win a bet with you yesterday. Mr. Nutt, bookmaking is against the law. I never do nothing to jeopardize my job. Who's that clown? Look, like I said, I'm an ex-bookie. Ex. Ex. That's the key word. You understand? I haven't taken a bet in years. A dime on Paris Red in the fourth. <laughs> Not now. Get out of here. All of it. I'm Billy's Hope in the seventh. <laughs> okay, all right, I lied. I lied, all right? Big deal, I lied. I took Mr. Tarkins' bet yesterday. He beat me out $1,170. Here, I got the betting slip right here. Look. Here it is. Yes, yeah, sir. And the truth shall set ye free. Oh. You know, hey, hey, if you guys let me keep my job, I'll never take another bet the rest of my life, I promise you. A box of mint creamies on Happy Camper in the fifth? Well, uh, she's a little girl. I'll break her heart. Well, at least I've been removed as the prime suspect. But who is behind this plot to steal money? I have to find him, or her. Oh. Well, I can't give you a deluxe suite, but I think I can arrange a mini suite on the fourth. Uh, uh, could you call back in about five minutes? Thank you. Dennis, uh, is that a new watch? Oh, no, sir. I just got it back from the repair shop. It's an heirloom. Is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, may I look at it? Oh, certainly. I'm sir. interested in the antiques. Yeah. Oh, it's handsome. Yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I would estimate its value to be about, oh, $1,000, $1,100, 1170 dollars maybe? Why do I get the feeling I'm being interrogated? <laughs> oh, Dennis, don't be paranoid, for heaven's sakes. It's just a couple of friends having a casual conver conversation. <laughs> Sir, what is this? I don't, I don't know. Do you mind if I check the lining, sir? Somebody's planted a tape recorder on me. I don't like what's happening in this hotel, Dennis. Oh. <laughs> Freddie, what are you doing? Oh, Mr. Target, I'm relaxing my feet in this whoopee water massager. Mm. Must have cost a pretty penny. Oh, well, it's worth it when you've been on your feet all day long. Freddie, I'd like to go up. Going up. Well, I sure hope your mom's okay. Well, her surgery is today, but they don't expect complications. 
Yeah, I'll be keeping my fingers crossed. Thank you, Charles. You know, with all the suspicion being thrown around, I'm surprised no one's pointed a finger at me. <laughs> Mr. <Would> Tarkington! <laughs> Yeah. Where is your motorized rug cleaner? Oh, it wasn't working properly, so I sold it at a flea market. Is that where you got the money for that expensive new hairdo? <laughs> Lobby level. <laughs> ah, Freddy! Is this a wallet? I see before me. Yeah. I, I wanted you to return it to the guest who dropped it in the elevator. Oh. What's going on here? <laughs> Enough, Sally. Sadly, the culprit may just have incriminated himself. Where is he? Right here. It's Freddy. No, no, not Freddy. My wallet. <laughs> Thank goodness it was you behind my wallet. You know, if it was anybody else, I may never have seen it again. Oh. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Freddy. Oh, yes. oh. oh what's happening? from this hotel we're all friends you're right this is enough i'm putting my foot down i feel so guilty i, I mean that's the wrong word i feel so remorseful about suspecting any of you i'm like, uh pardon me for interrupting this important conference but may i trouble you for change for a 20. oh certainly i think i have some change under my mattress wait i've got change right here oh. Oh, thank you <sighs> wait a minute she gave me foreign money look it's brown money let me see that. This is foreign. This is coffee stained from the time you spilled coffee into the cash drawer. And Miss Beaumont was present when Mr. Tarkington asked to borrow $1,170. Maybe she <gasps> stole the money. But how do we prove it? Miss Frick! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you go to that woman's room and snoop around. See if you can find that tainted money. Here. You're so handsome on your Zoom command. Go on, sick of Frick. <laughs> in here. Did you knock her out? No. When she saw the gorilla, she decided to faint. You are beating this gorilla joke business into the ground. <clears throat> she needs mouth to mouth. Let's call the police. Listen, everybody. I just got done talking to my mother. The operation was a complete success. Oh, oh, oh yeah. After the swelling goes down, her nose should look just perfect. Her nose? You mean she had plastic surgery? I went through all this trouble for your mother's nose job? Well, I, I tried to tell you before. That... Unbelievable. What next? <laughs> Mr. Tarkington. 
Washington, Miss Frick, was telling the truth about that gorilla all along. Oh, isn't that true? It's so nice that we're all honest around here. <laughs> Have a nice weekend.